Tim Lurch here. Happy holidays from the True Fire family. Today we're going to look at this uh, fun arrangement of Winter Wonderland. It's in the key of C and has a lot of uh, moving bass parts, which I'm going to try and convey to you in as simple as possible of a way. Um, it's a swinging tune. I'm going to take it really slow here in the demonstration so that you can get all the grips. I have a feeling that if you learn the chord shapes, you, the melody lives right in the chord shapes, and that's the easy part about it, is the melody is right in the chords. So we're going to say, off the bat, we start with a D flat 7, a flat 5 chord to get the first pickup melodies. And then we're going to go to a C6-9 for the next melody. A little bass movement, an F9 with a C in the bass there. Uh, for the next two melodies, and then E minor 7, right? So the whole first part, move the bass to the A, leave that note ringing if you can, and then we're going to do a little move here on D minor 11. New bass note, F major 9, and then this little thing here, which is like a um, an F, sorry, an A altered. Uh, that's um, 10, 11, 8, 8. Again, melody gets played twice. And then we're going to do this little thing that I do. Well, I'll do the simple version. That's D minor with the melody moving from F to G. To a G seventh chord, or you can say what I did. Okay, and then uh, F sharp minor eleven, new bass note, new melody note, new bass note. So I'm moving the bass to the flat five often. And then uh, D9, then thumb over for the new bass note, same melody note both times, uh, G7, new bass note, and then a C triad, and then I play, and start the whole thing over again. I'll play it one time really slow so you can just hear it without me talking. Bridge is in the key, it starts out in the key of E, so we hit a B seventh chord to, to get there, and we say e, an E triad, and then the top part of that same chord, 
ba basically ends up being E major seven, and then a B nine, and then I move the bass note and I flatten my first finger out. There's a lot of ways to do this. I experimented with a bunch of things and they got too complicated, so it's just gonna be this. And then back to E and a B7. Again. And then a quick little D7 to get us to the new to the next key in the bridge, which is the key of G major. Do that uh, F sharp diminished there, or do this little thing. G, G with a D in the bass, then E7 sharp 9, B7, sorry, B flat 7, flat 5. So those are flat 5 subs of each other. And then A7, uh, sorry, A7, E flat 7, flat 9 for the next melody, D9. Then A7 flat five, A flat seven flat five. Boy, these are hard to say, aren't they? A little harder to say than they are to play. And then G7, and then maybe I did to there to get to here, and then back to the top again. I played D9, then, then the flat five in the bass. There's kind of the melody, each note, melody note gets repeated four times. So it makes it very convenient. New bass note, and then a C up to the A7, which is the sixth dominant chord for the turnaround. We do it all again. Then the last time, Okay, the simplest version is without all that bass movement, you could just play it like this. So feel free to leave out all of my f running and walking bass lines and just focus on the chords themselves, uh, which always provide the melody um, right at the top voice for the most part. Uh, okay, I hope you have fun with this one and happy holidays. <laughs>